Sorg, Casey Sorgatomics, at Sorgatron on the Twitter. We are already enrolling here with another episode. And uh, what I like to do, I haven't been able to do this for, for a good, probably a good bit, but I like to do sort of a post-mortem when I do, when uh, certain projects are released. And, uh, and and I think this this definitely deserves it. Uh, last Thursday, uh, the music video for the band Max Out. Max Out! I think it's the way it should be pronounced. Uh, actually, the band members will be joining us, or, or will have joined us probably by the time you've heard this, on Wrestling Mayhem Show. So please go check that out, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. But they had a music video that was released this past Thursday, and it included, oh yes, that person that's always in my life. WWE superstar Virgil. There he is right there with a band if you guys are with us on the video version. Um, it was a good time. So these guys contacted me. Um, and I, I, I'll have to ask them. Uh, but I, I'm not entirely sure how they discovered me other than being wrestling fans. And I guess I'm sort of in that space in the area. Uh, but they needed help filming a music video. And uh, they, I didn't need to bring anything. They had equipment. Um, they, they, they had a, their, their basement green screened, and they were ready to go. They just need somebody to film basically the performance portions of the video. And I'm like, okay, this sounds like fun. I mean, this sounds like fun. Let's see, let's see where this goes. Um, didn't know these guys. Didn't know anything going into it. And I went, and there's Virgil in a basement, and these guys are rocking out, and uh, they were set to go. Uh, so. Uh, it, and I didn't even see most of the rest of the music video that they filmed. That was a lot of action figure uh, kind of worked out stuff with Sandman, Terry Funk, some ECW era stuff, uh, Sabu. Um, and, and they had a, they had a lot of fun. And it's basically the band members playing with uh, with action figures. Like you see their hands, you see stuff happening. Uh, and then Virgil pops in. And, 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 the, and the gimmick of this is that uh, Virgil is, uh, is, is, is their drummer. Um, it was a blast. It was an absolute blast to film these guys. And again, kind of looking at their green screen, I was not entirely sure how this was going to work out. And even if you watch it, it's not the cleanest, uh, green screen, uh, 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 cut right there. Uh, but I think the guys did a really super job at this. Again, they kind of have a, a, a an interesting style to them, like that kind of eighties, uh, eighties to nineties fun style, uh, and, and, and they were talking about putting video game characters in the background and everything. And, 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 it's kind of okay. It really is okay that the green screen isn't the best. Like, they're not aiming for perfection here. This is not Star Wars and does not intend to be Star Wars. Uh, and, 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 you know, ironically with ECW, uh, there was always the, uh, 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 you know, hide your weaknesses and accent the, your good qualities. And I think these guys definitely did that uh w- with this um it, it was a blast and it's great to kind of see you know how did the rest of the video turn out how did what did they use um again simply being the videographer on this uh, throwing out some ideas while we're there with the band with virgil yes wwe superstar virgil um and and, and kind of talking with them and, and and not really knowing like what their their premiere editing skills were going to be when they got to it but they had a lot of fun put a lot of effects on it um and 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 it worked out really well and it's been getting some really interesting compliments getting some really decent plays um and again riding on that 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 whole virgil uh meme that goes on the lonely virgil even a part of the video you may have seen it on the video version of this uh recording where uh he's sitting in a parking lot at a table just like just like you would see him at at a a steel city con or, or somewhere else sometimes a flea market i guess um and this is not my first in, in, encounter with Virgil. I, I did do the uh, did the recording and, and development and release on on uh, Legend of Virgil and his traveling merchandise table that we filmed in his living room. So again, uh, a familiar person uh, in the wrestling world, um, and which is a weird thing for me to say, having been a, uh, like I, I watched I watched Virgil on my TV when I was like seven years old, and now here I am in a basement shooting uh, him uh, doing this kind of stuff. Uh, so. It, it, it's been a really surreal experience as far as that goes. Um, and, and again, like you, it's not like these guys had uh, uh, $3,000 cameras or anything uh, going into this, which really kind of lends to, you know, what you can do these days. And, and it's really, uh, uh, it's super creative. Uh, these guys are super talented. This, the music sounds fun. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to jamming. I hope they have a live show here in Pittsburgh and uh, we can uh, all uh, take the Mayhammers out. Uh, to, uh, to to go check it out. So go check them out. Uh, the the website is 
I want to make sure I get this right, maxoutband.com and Max Out Band on the Twitters. Uh, let's check out the music video. Check out, they have, uh, I think, samples of, of, of their basically entire album. It's available now on iTunes. Uh, so go check that out um, and, 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 and share it around if you're enjoying it, please. Uh, it was a lot of fun, a whole lot of fun. Um, uh, kind of speaking a little bit more to, to uh, the production of this. Um, again, it was a, it, they, they re- it probably wasn't the best for a green screen. Um, and, uh, and uh, you know, the, even the camera was, you know, probably a lower end like consumer camera, right? But again, you know, we, everybody's making stuff with iPhones. Um, there, somebody, somebody let me know about uh, Tangerine. I had, haven't had a chance to watch it, but it, it's a movie that was made on iPhone. I think probably a 5S or something like that. Maybe a little older considering the time it takes to turn around a movie like that. Um, when I say, when I'm saying constantly on this show and on Twitter, hey, start your thing. Hey, go do your thing. Hey, the tools are there, right? You don't need X grand to pull something off or at least to start something. Um, I watched a, uh, I think it was called the YouTubers or something like that. It was a documentary that was on Netflix about a lot of the YouTube stars. And I think it was Grace Helwig I was seeing. And she's still editing her videos on iMovie. iMovie comes free with the Mac if, you, if you're able to get a Mac. Um, I think up till Windows 10, there's a, there's a Windows movie maker, uh, a friend of mine that's doing Let's, Let's Play videos, Riz Plays Games. Uh, last I knew, I think he's going into movie maker and, uh, and putting some of this stuff together. I think he might have, he might have uh, he's trying something else. But again, it's not the $300 piece of software that is Final Cut Pro. It's not that hundreds of dollar software or that monthly fee, I guess, uh, $50 a month to, to get your hands on Premiere, right? Adobe Premiere. It, there's a lot of software options out there. Um, for, for you to edit it, the, the barrier for entry has been lowered. It's really, everything takes time. Everything takes time. I mean, even, uh, there's an article I was just reading on, on medium yesterday about anything where anything you want to do is going to take years. Anything you truly, truly want to do is going to take years and going back to green day, uh, green day had a break. I'm, I'm, I'm quoting the article off my head now, uh, but green day had a, had a breakout album with uh, dookie. But they've been around for eight years and perfecting it. You just don't show up and drop a dookie, okay? Uh, you work at it. Um, I've I've been doing this for ten years, and only now does it feel like okay. I have some credibility that I can uh, show at, show off a little bit, right? Um, and 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 get these projects and 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 get clients and and have a little bit of a a pedigree about uh, what we're doing in, in, in the realms that we're working in and, and know enough to say, okay, that wasn't working. Let's get somebody to help with the social media. Let's get somebody to help with this aspect of the business and make this a business and make this a fun business. I'm hoping uh, continually throughout the years as we go and grow and, and, and figure things out and, and learn from our mistakes over the last 10 years, right? Since we've been doing this kind of thing. Um, and I think that's really important, and and, and that's that's something I want to drive home. These max out guys. I, hopefully, I can uh, maybe I'll pick their brains a little bit tonight. But uh, I, I, you know, I, these guys have got to be uh, uh, musicians of some sort, um, a performance or whatnot before this. And uh, it, it's it's you know, I think it shows. I think it shows when with with what they're doing here. Again, shoestring budget, but completely uh, uh, rocking this. So. Um, officially from Spooner, Wisconsin. <laughs> uh, but anyways, go check them out. Maxoutband.com. Let me know what you think. Let me know any thoughts, any questions about it. I was thinking about doing an AMA on working with Virgil over on Reddit. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll kick that out here in the, in the next few days or something. So let me know. Uh, check out the show. Uh, subscribe to the newsletter at Sorgatron.com. Check out Sorgatronmedia.com for a lot of other posts and shows. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.